What is up, YouTube? This is the Killer Nacho yet again. I have a uh, random match here for you, which is, uh, you know, for those who don't know, uh, it's like roulette. It's uh, we're getting a random team of Pokemon on a showdown, and this battle is with a guy named Omega Blaziken, also from my stream. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, see how it goes, shall we? Alrighty then. Well, I lead with the Smeargle, which is kind of a cool lead uh, because the leads are also random, so. Uh, anytime, though, Smeargle's usually a pretty good lead, so I take a look at the moveset, and I'm like, you know what, why not, let's just go, uh, for a, um, spore against this Krikatoon, because that is kind of what, uh, Smeargle's known for, I mean, spore is a 100% accuracy sleep move and all that jazz. Anyway, so now he goes into Cacturn, which I guess he sh probably should have went into to begin with, since I believe grass types are immune to spore now. But that gives me some time to set up Stealth Rocks, and now I'm just going to go for the Destiny Bond, hoping that he'll kill me. And he does indeed use Drain Punch, which is going to kill Smeargle, and uh, yeah, I set up Stealth Rocks, sleep a Pokemon, and then I also take down a Cacturn with me, so I that was a pretty successful lead right there. So I'm uh, looking kind of nice right off the bat. Anyway, I don't know what he's going to go into, obviously, So uh, because our Pokemon team is hidden before these battles. So I go out into Kabutops, he ends up going into Zygarde, which is the, uh, you know, the, the, uh third legendary from X and Y, and I believe it's a dragon ground type, I, I, I think. Anyway, I go for a waterfall, I just want to see how much it does, and uh, yeah, he goes for an extreme speed for whatever reason, I'm not really sure why he would do that, but uh, okay. Maybe he forgot Kabutops was a rock type, I don't know. Anyway, so now I go into Seeking, and I'm like, oh yeah, F yeah Seeking, and he's going to go for a coil, which is um, his setup move, and it's a pretty decent one, it raises his attack, defense, and accuracy, so... Uh, not that bad, so, uh, yeah, but he tries to go for it again, and I have Ice Beam, so he probably should have predicted that. And, uh, yeah, Ice Beam is obviously going to X4 effect if it hit that Zygarde, and it's going to take it out, so, um, yeah. So, I guess he wasn't expecting the Ice Beam, but probably should have been safe there. Anyway, here comes, uh, Electros, which is a, normally a Pokemon that has no weakness, but it's also Electric type, and I have to switch. So I go out to Meganium, because I'm expecting, obviously, a uh, Electric attack. He goes for a Volt Switch, so he gets to uh, scout my Meganium and then uh, switch back out, and he ends up going into, I think, Cricketune? To burn turns of sleep. Yeah, he goes into Cricketune, figuring that I don't have anything to hurt him, which is probably true. And, uh, yeah, he can just uh, burn some turns of sleep and eventually wake up, he hopes. Anyway, so now I, I switch into Tyranitar, and he uh, obviously just burns a turn of sleep. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty confident that he's not going to want to stay in and take a uh, rock move or really anything. Krikatoon probably doesn't have that much defense. I'm not really sure, but I don't think he does. Regardless, um, I just go for a Dragon Dance here, and he ends up staying in so uh, as to burn more turns of sleep. Probably going for a uh, Bug-type move of some kind. I don't know. I, I actually don't know, because that would only be neutral. I don't know what he would, he would do. Maybe he has a fighting move. I don't know if Krikatoon can even learn fighting moves. Anyway, so at this point I realize that I can Mega Evolve, so I just do it, and, um, yeah, I go for a Stone Edge. So I didn't make off last turn because I didn't even realize that it was uh, had a ty the Typhlosion ite, or Tyrant not Typhlosion Tyranitarite. That would be odd if if Tyranitar mega evolved with Typhlosion ite. Anyway, that is not the case. So uh, yeah, I didn't even notice that this guy was a mega evolution dude until like one turn in. So now I mega evolve. I hit the uh, Slow King and then I just finish it off with Crunch. So not a bad turn for me. And, uh, yeah, here comes the Electros again, and I don't really know what it's going to do. I just go for the Crunch to see what it does, and, uh, yeah, it does not quite kill. He goes for the Drain Punch, which is X4 effective, but thanks to Tyranitar's amazing stats when... Well, I don't even know. It's amazing stats in general. I'm sure the Omega version has better defense, too, so, yeah, I'm able to actually, uh, take out the Electros and survive the X4 effective, um, Drain Punch, which is pretty nice. So his last Pokemon, or no, he has two Pokemon remaining. Uh, one of them is this Terrakian, which I do not want to uh, figure out what it does. I He resists both of my uh, attacking moves, Stone Edge and uh, Crunch. I don't remember the fourth move on that, uh, Tyranitar. I'm going to assume it's Earthquake. So uh, yeah, it's also useless since he has a Balloon. So I just go out and Drift Limb to take the Earthquake that I predict. But then he goes for a Stone Edge, and I have no idea why I didn't predict that at all. But uh, yeah. I try to go for the sub, uh, thinking he might switch, and he doesn't, so that looked pretty dumb on my part. Now, I do get kind of lucky here, he uh, misses the uh, next Stone Edge, and then I'm able to get off a Destiny Bond, which puts me in a pretty nice situation, because I it leaves me at 26% HP, meaning I can set up a sub, and he can't risk killing me if he, well, unless he wants to lose to Arachian, which either way, I'm, I'm okay with that outcome. If he wants to sacrifice to Arachian, I mean, obviously all he has left is a sleeping Krikatoon. If not, when he goes into Krikatoon, I can just get a free sub, so 
it was a pretty nice uh, situation for me to be in. So I have a sub against this Krikatoon. I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt, which I have. And uh, yeah, I just go for a Thunderbolt, and it's uh, super effective against Krikatoon, although it does not quite KO. And he does wake up, and he goes for a knockoff, which is going to break my sub. And obviously, I can't set up a new one. So I'm just going to try to finish him off now with Thunderbolt. I saw that I was faster than Krikatoon, so... I should be able to do it, and I do, so that was pretty nice. And his last Pokemon is Terrakian, which I know outspeeds Drift Blim, but I just don't want to be, uh, I don't want to risk anything. I'm just going to let him finish off Drift Blim, and I'll revenge kill with something. But, you know, you don't really want to risk um, him actually, you know, getting a crit on Stone Edge or something on one of your other Pokemon, because Terrakian is a Pokemon you just don't F with, because it's uh, super powerful and definitely has sweeping potential. Uh, so, yeah, so now I go back into, into Meganium, I figure, unless he crits, I mean, I should be good, and, uh, yeah, he tries to go for a close combat, does, doesn't even do half, as Meganium must have, like, some kind of physical defense set or something, and, uh, yeah, with his reduced defenses, obviously Giga Drain is going to KO, so, good game, uh, Omega Blaziken, you know, it's, uh, random matches are always interesting and fun, I mean, obviously, they're not super competitive, and it's all lighthearted, because, uh, just kind of uh, use what you got and uh, have fun at it. So, yeah, I kind of like those random matches. So, uh, let me think of a good question of the day. What was your favorite Pokemon game of all time? And I uh, probably did this before, but plenty of uh, Pokemon games have come out since then. You can uh, name any uh, you know mainstream Pokemon game or even spin-offs if you really like Pokemon Trading Card Game or Hey You Pikachu or, uh, I don't know, uh, what is that, Pokemon Conquest? I do like Pokemon Conquest. Although, uh, probably my favorite games are still, uh, the older ones, um, I would have to probably go with, uh, Pokemon's Crystal, if I had to, uh, name a single title that is probably my favorite still to this day. So, uh, yeah, leave a comment about your favorite Pokemon game of all time. I mean, obviously, if it's one of the, uh, you can even pick, I mean, if, if you're really close between red and blue, just pick red or blue, depending on which one you actually like better, do the exclusives or whatever. Well, yeah, leave a comment about that, and I'll see you guys next time. Laters.